Hello and welcome to today's session. It's going to be an overview of AWS, Amazon Web Services. Let's get started. AWS is a public cloud provider, meaning they offer cloud services like infrastructure, platform or software, etc. over public internet, making them available to anyone who wants to use them. It was launched in 2006, making them the first public cloud provider ever launched. Their first service was SQS, Simple Queue Service, which is a queuing system used in distributing messages. It has millions of customers and it keeps growing every year. They have a global network, meaning their data centers are located all around the globe. As of today, they offer 200 plus fully featured services, which is a huge number. These are few of their millions of customers. You could see the variety of customer base. They have customers from social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and also from entertainment industry like Netflix, ESPN, Spotify, or even from food industry like Kellogg's and many more. Each of them use various services of AWS. For example, Netflix use their AWS EC2 servers and auto scaling to meet the customer demands. Philips uses their IoT and serverless features. AWS regions are the geographic locations around the world where the data centers are physically located. And availability zones are the isolated locations within the regions from where the cloud services are provided. Availability zones have independent power sources, networking and cooling resources. And this type of isolation helps in supporting disaster recovery. And availability zones also help in reducing the latency with the customer by placing them as widespread and as close to the customer as possible. Every region will have at least two availability zones and every availability zone will have at least one data center. The AWS cloud spans 77 availability zones within 24 geographic regions around the world with announced plans for nine more availability zones and three more AWS regions in Indonesia, Japan, and Spain. So you could see they are widespread and growing really fast. Gartner is a global research advisory firm who creates reports and data which provides useful insights for various organizations in making critical decisions. This is one of their graphs which shows the various positions of public cloud providers where AWS is a clear leader. AWS provides a huge number of services. As of now, they provide over 200 fully featured services and this number keeps growing every month. So I've listed the broad categories of the services here. Like the basic ones include compute, analytics, networks, security, storage, and also more specific features like robotics, machine learning, blockchain, IoT, AR, and VR. We will have a separate session to cover an overview of every service in AWS. In the coming session, we will see a walkthrough of how to set up a new free AWS account. If you have any questions in this session, please leave them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.